All right, how's it going everyone? And welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to go over a blowing in the wind effect with some leaves. Um, I've used this effect in the past with some papers flying around on screen and stuff like that. So here I have four different leaves all illustrated in Illustrator. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition and set it at about 400 by 400 pixels and rename it to leaf 01. And now I'm gonna go ahead and drag our first leaf design into the comp. I'm gonna scale it down a bit. I'm gonna rotate it to the right. And I'm also going to turn it into a 3D layer to add a little bit more depth. And I'm just gonna tilt it towards us a bit looks good so back to the main comp we're gonna go ahead and drag that leaf into the composition I'm gonna move it over to the left set a position keyframe move up about two seconds and set another position keyframe I'm also gonna make it follow a curved path by pulling these handles up and down Next, we are going to apply a cool effect called CC Cylinder. I'm going to bump this radius up to about 140. I'm also going to play with the lighting a bit and maybe move it down so it's facing downward. Now we're going to set keyframes for rotation X, rotation Y, and rotation Z. So you'll see that it makes the leaf kind of look like it's wrapped around a cylinder. So we're gonna go ahead and move up about halfway through and we're gonna go ahead and set a few more keyframes for these rotation properties. I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it and just do what looks cool. Looks, you know, whatever looks good. Go ahead and move to the end and set a couple more keyframes. You can't see the leaf, so I'm actually gonna bump up a little bit here in the timeline, set some more keyframes, and then I'll just go ahead and move them back to the end of the animation. I'm not happy with that result, so I'm gonna go ahead and redo those end keyframes. Move them back to the end. Awesome, looks great. So basically now we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate this comp and replace it with the other leaves and change the rotation properties. So that way they're not all following the same rotations and the same path. And that's it, thanks for watching guys and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more tutorials coming in the future.